Hey, everybody. My name's Phil Kohler. I'm being joined by Andrew Reiner. Phil Kohler, Pepsi Cola, P. Kohler. Hey. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. We're looking at Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so I've been playing this the last few days. What we're looking at here is the title screen that is Sub Zero the 18th. He's okay. the 18th, 18th version Sub-Zero. of him because they've all died. And that is, that's actually a Scorpion cosplayer. He's oh, Scorpion right. number 42. Okay. Because um, they all die in each each tournament. So sure. That makes you know, sense. They get, they get new people. So I've unlocked pretty much everything in the game. This is going to be very, everything. very spoiler heavy. So if you don't want anything, you know, ruined for you or anything like that, get the hell out of Dodge. Do not I'm, watch the I'm rest of this video. Here. This is going to ruin it for you. That's fine. I'll deal. Awesome. All right, so let's just go into here. I'll show you. You got um, ladder, tag ladder, test your luck, might, sight, strike. You know, kind of all those classic things from test your sight. Is that like a? Yeah, it's just weird. It's like what letters? What cup? letters do you see? And it's like weird. you got to cover one eye, and you're like E S T. Mm. Uses connect. You talk I mean, into it. It's and... nice that they were able to get that connect functionality into the game that like everybody wanted. All the Mortal Kombat fans were asking for. And then it was like get f- glasses. And I was like, oh, I got to go get glasses. Right. Uh, so Intense. you could do this up to four player. Um, but let's just go into the ladder here. And I'm going to really just spoil something for everybody right, right out of the gate here. I'm going to put it to uh, I'm gonna put it to easy. Sure. Beginner, just so I can fly through this and show you some cool stuff. All right. I'm excited. Look, Look at, at this. Ten, ten fights. Shao Kahn, cheap piece so of shit. through, you're just doing ten fights. Ten fights. That's it. Sure. Classic ladder, arcade style, just like the old days. Ending for every character. Okay. The ending's pretty good. They're awesome. All right. Yeah, we'll spoil some of those for people. Like I said, spoiler heavy here. Like you might not want to see this. I want to see it. I'm ready. So there's Sector. He looks like not a fan of Sector. He's I think like he's, Iron Man Predator now. I think Sector's a little dumb. You're playing as Luke Hang, classic. Yep. So just kind of showing off all of his moves. You can augment moves now. You see that meter in the bottom. Sure. So you could see I did more damage on that one. Okay. With the f- the flames. Yep. Your legs were on fire. It's not. Yeah, safe. that's not. Yeah, you think I'd take some damage from that? What happens when the meter fills up all the way? Uh, then I get an X-ray move. See, so he had one oh, there. Yes, so here's a spoiler. Right. Boom! What did I just do? What What is going? Uh oh. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> All right. So that there is... There are Babalities in that this is, game. Babalities that is, making their grand return. That is a hidden uh, ality, which I found on my own. Okay. By With my own dyslexia, not able to do a fatality the way they told me to. <laughs> um, and I found it, and I was so proud of it. I showed Dan. Like I, I texted Ed Boone. I texted everybody in the he world. He's Boone. like, I'm really awesome. proud of you. And I was like tearing up a little bit. I it wonder was, if there are other hidden... Do you think there's like animalities or friendships? I think it's only the babalities. All right. That's kind of a bummer, but I do. I am a fan. I'm one of the people who's a fan of babalities. So I'll let my meter fill up here. So how... So I, I'm asking this as I need I mean, to anybody me else. Oh, look at this. Look at this touch. The blood. Look at that. Just getting caked. Isn't that's, that cool? That's just disgusting. Look at that, though. That's I not, can't see anymore. That's not like the kind of showers that I take normally. Right, beat me up a little. Uh, we have it on beginner, so I want to show you the x-ray move, though. <laughs> it, on beginner, they just kind of chill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel, you... It makes me feel great. Look at this. <laughs> But the environments are just gorgeous. So I want to ask, obviously you're playing on beginner, but on, on regular difficulty... Here we go, I got it. Uh, you know, anybody who watched the video... So here's oh, an X-ray awesome. move. Anybody who watched the video that Dan and I did of the Mortal Kombat demo knows that I'm... Uh, I'm kind of a newbie when it comes to fighting games. I'm not very good. How uh, difficult is this game? It gets really hard, and the bosses are really cheap. All right. But let me kind of go through here. You know, here's your standard uh, special attacks... Enhanced attacks. And then here's the fatality. So I have one that's locked. I believe that is going to be his stage fatality, which I haven't found yet. Um, But let's try this one. Down, down, forward, down, B. I believe in you. And I did it wrong. Nope. I don't believe in you anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Let's jump out of here. So you're getting coins to use in a crypt. 
Okay. Uh, just like uh, Mortal Kombat, Deadly like, Alliance, Deception, all those games. Yeah, the PS2 ones. That was a big thing in those, I remember. So here's the Crypt, Necropolis. I've unlocked everything in the Crypt already. What is what is Necropolis? What's that? I'll show you that in a all second. Right. You'll show me that. should ask, ask that question Yeah, don't later. jump ahead, Pete Kohler. All right, my bad. It's not how we do things here on Reiner and Phil. It's a little bit of loading. It's all about me. <laughs> That's right. And a little bit about you. All right. All right. So there used to be graves here that I was breaking down and getting secrets from. Have you unlocked everything? Like I, I've unlocked everything. Yeah. Everything. It took so much time. But then here's the necropolis. So you could just jump right up there, enter inside from the crypt, which is really cool. That is cool. So this is where all of your character art, character models, okay. um, endings, all that stuff are. And are you unlocking like full characters? Are you unlocking just art? Like, what is it? Is it everything? Yeah, everything's in here. Uh, so Liu Kang, I was showing you him. I'll show you the ending here. Yeah, let's see. Um, these endings apparently aren't in canon. Um, the endings that you get in the latter mode are just like this alternate, okay. I guess, kind of future. Story mode is supposedly where the game's going to be going next. And I actually like these endings better than story modes. Okay. So, so here's Liu Kang. The story mode, like, that's just a single story you play through then like do you switch off with characters as you go uh yes you do it's so, like yeah, so mortal kombat like, versus dc yeah mortal kombat versus dc they did that so you get the text here he starts talking looking uh he's probably gonna have a scar on his chest he's not looking great no so Liu Kang's kind of fed up with everything here and he decides you know what? I'm going to take you out, old man. Raiden. They were teammates. They were on the same side. But he takes his power and becomes... That's really dumb. <laughs> Liu Kang Raiden! That's a pretty... That's amazing! Look at that! He's a god! Uh, I hope that's an unlockable character. Uh, so character bios. Uh, this is kind of funny. You can... Uh, you can look at uh, their character model... So that's what he looks like. But then you could just toggle damage on. Ugh. Oh, boy. And just check out the damage models that they have. Yikes. Which is pretty sweet. And obviously in the battle, those that damage goes on bit by bit. Correct. Gotcha. Uh, other things to check out here. There is... You can do... There's a fatality tutorial. Oh, that's going to be useful for me. Where you could just test out fatalities, which is kind of cheap in my opinion. Like... That's always something that should happen at the end of a match. Yeah, that that's kind of just letting you see like your reward, like the best part of the game. Exactly. Was there any character you want to see? Oh, Challenge Tower is amazing, by the way. This yeah, is one of my favorite parts. I've heard, I've heard a little bit about this. Well, big spoiler. It's going to go all the way to the top. I'll try to scroll down. Oh, crap. Sorry, people. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, we'll go down as far as I can. There's 300 challenges, as you just saw. Um... And uh, these things are crazy. This is where you unlock your test the might, strength, all that stuff. Sure. But let's see if we can find a fun one. This took a long time. And I've completed all of them, but maybe 10. Okay. You can pay to skip them. Oh, okay. And there's one where it's like, as, um, as striker, defeat uh, three Shao Kahn's. And Shao Kahn is the cheapest piece of crap. And Striker, oh, not a terribly well loved character. No, I hate him. And 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 the thing about Shao Kahn is he could just like, you could kick him straight in the face, but if he flashes white, that means that he's not gonna like stumble back like he should. That means he can just attack you right away. Yeah. At any time he wants to, you could be mid combo and he can just break it up without using a breaker. But these are really funny. So. um always something different in these things like leaking oil your character is like losing health i like this i like that they uh put this in this seems like a really cool way of mixing it up and it's a good way to teach you how to do things yeah it forces you to learn different characters uh i want to find oh you get to play as goro nice uh just in these i haven't found a way to unlock him in the main game but we're looking for a johnny cage one here we go These are pretty funny because, yeah, here you go. Johnny Cage versus his movie director. I'm oh, good. He beats up his movie director, his stunt doubles. He's uh, he's kind of... Kind of a jerk. Kind of a jerk, yeah. 
So his there's background a special. Is awesome. Also, and when you beat him up, you just get his money, which is really weird. Look at this. There's a there's a dragon in the background. Yeah, the, like I said, the backgrounds are great. If you look really closely, it's actually a helicopter battling a dragon. And then there'll nice. be another one that kind of comes flying by here in a little bit. Well, here's one that's crashed. Yeah, look at that poor sap in there. He's dead. Sad. So, yeah, this one is just a matter of time. Like, you get coins uh, for beating the crap out of this guy. So it seems, this seems kind of awesome. I don't know. I'm. It's like classic... It, Everybody's kind of calling it, like, comparing it to Street Fighter 4 in being uh, a, a return. kind of a return to its its roots. And, yes, it's 2D. It has the same, pretty much the same roster as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, like, I saw Toasty once. Sure. You know, Dan Forden comes on screen and goes, Toasty. Yep. Uh, I saw him once. So, yes, it has a lot, a lot of classic elements to it. Uh, oh, I didn't pay attention, which... Can he do? Nope. I gotta have him out here. So this is just like a zombie mini game. I gotta switch them. When there's slimy ones, I have to have Str Striker out here. When they're normal, I gotta have Cage out here. Tons of variety in this game. So I'm just gonna get out of this. Yeah. Or I'll show you. If, once they get close to you, you die. Failure. So you gotta take out 30 of them or whatever like that. Um, and then... Uh, online has a cool mode, which we can't show you here. We're not hooked into online, but it's the, uh, uh, King of the Hill mode. Yeah. Where you can, um, it's almost like putting a quarter. Remember back in the heyday of arcades mm -hmm. where you put a quarter on the machine to kind of mark it, your place and say, I'm, I'm next. It reminded me of like, didn't they have like a, a sort of a quarter mode like that in one of the XBLA versions of Street Fighter 2? Yes. Um, and it sort of reminded me of that, which is cool. Uh, just, so this actually does does seem like they add some new stuff though compared to the the old Mortal Kombat. So, like it's not just like that challenge tower seems like a lot of content, and that's something you wouldn't. Well, that's the thing. It's like in an old fighting game. I like that it's two D again, and I like seeing a lot of the old characters again and their moves and the the classic style gameplay. But it's the new stuff that really makes this great. It's yeah. it's the X ray moves. It's the uh, the augmented special moves. The mm -hmm. new combos. The new counter. Uh, the counter system, the way that uh, you tag in partners, there's a ton of depth in that, yeah. just in tag mode alone. Uh, so I just want to kind of show you guys, hopefully, some fatalities. Oh, I don't remember his moves here. Oh, there we go. So he has these little, like, slime guys that come out, which are kind of cool. Nice. So here's the standard one, and then here's the augmented one. You see he punches him one more time. All right. Smoke is just kind of taking it. He's taking it like a man. And then we'll go to the finisher. It's nice that you can pause at any moment and check these out. And I'm not going to do it. There we go. There we go. All right. So this one's disgusting. This is probably the one that uh, grosses me out the most. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. Oh, that's... Do I need to put the mature tag on this one? <laughs> on this video? You think? Maybe. Huh. Maybe. Um, yeah, just disturbing. A lot of them are really funny, but then some of them are just bizarre uh, yeah. and, and cruel. And let me show you. Uh, have you seen uh, Shang Tsung's? I do not believe that I have. Now let me show you this one. And we're just going to kind of jump around here. That's fine. I think people, people want to see some fatalities if they're watching this video. They've already gotten the babality out of the way. Like, the so big, big mind-blowing moment here. Between playing this with Dan a few weeks ago in the demo, watching you play this now, and, and seeing you and Dan play it the last, you know, the last week for review, I, I'm buying this. Like, and even as somebody who doesn't buy or play a ton of fighting games, you guys have definitely sold me on this. It's great. It, it really is fantastic. I gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, I, I, I loved, you know, a lot of people, it was kind of interesting. A lot of people ask me in the office, usually when I review a game, it's what score are you giving it? Sure. The question that came up with this was, um, how is it compared to like Mortal Kombat 2 and 3? Yeah. Uh, so people wanted to know kind of it's how it stacks up to its heritage. Like they knew it was good just by seeing it. And I would say it's the best Mortal Kombat yet. Yeah. Um, it didn't give me the same mind-blowing like kind of feelings as when I first saw Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. 
Sure. I mean, we've, we've come a long way, and this is definitely, you know, kind of a, a callback to those to a certain degree. Uh, but when you, when you compare, like, the gameplay, how solid the gameplay is, the, um, and the amount of content that it offers, it's, it's way up there. Yeah. Like, Deadly Alliance and Deception in those games, those uh, definitely offered a ton of content. And I would say Deception probably offers more. Sure. Um, is that the one that had kart racing? It might have been the puzzle combat, or that might have been the third one. It had like that full sure. 3D adventure mode. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, back down forward A. Here we go. This is just weird. This is his main fatality. This is the one he starts with. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. So that's a throwback to them the making fun universe. of, or maybe mocking so Marvel versus, or Mortal Kombat versus DC for being. Yeah. Teen, I guess. I guess, and then showing, so, hey, look what we can do. And Joker in that game had a similar fatality. What do they call it? Brutality or something? Yeah. That, but because it was DC and DC character, they couldn't actually show anything, so they just kind of cut away. I think. Why would you ever be Shiva? Why would you want to be Shiva when you started to fight? It's she's it's, so horrible. She's like the worst character ever. It's a long story. You you dislike Shiva more than a uh, Striker? Ooh, that's uh, that's a good question. I know Dan hates Striker a lot. That that is a very good question. Um, so I'll just kind of bounce around characters here. Yeah. Sorry show for all the menu more. management, but I want to show you as much of the game as I can. And by showing you just all this stuff, um, hopefully I'm not spoiling too much, but there is so much to it. Yeah. Like the number of different match types. Just the way things can be changed up. Let us let me show you this. Test your luck. Yeah, I want to see that. All the little animations, just the little details, it's really amazing. Um, well, I, I won't do the super secret character, but... Super secret character? There's a variation of a, a classic character All that right. you unlock in story mode. All I right. kind of paged over him there, so if you go back and pause your game, you can see who it is. Yeah. Test your luck. All right. So basically, we're going to get all these kind of modifiers and, and things thrown into the match. Rainbow combat, so there's rainbow blood. Combos disabled. Infinite super meter. All right. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes, like, one player will be totally screwed, which kind of sucks. But then other times... So infinite super meter, I could just keep spamming this. Spamming this and yeah. just beat the living crap out of them. I like. I kind of like this mode. This is kind of cool. If there's one thing that I'd say that bad about this game, it's the AI. Sure. Um, they're a little too quick-witted in recognizing like moves that you you pull off. Uh, they, the bosses especially, are just brutal. And you know, I understand why bosses should be tougher. In even games. just on like normal mode. Yeah. Even even on beginner, it's just like they're cheap. Uh, they can block attacks. Like, they, there's got to be a better approach to bosses. Sure. And Mortal Kombat's never done it. So I just X-rayed the the hell out of that, that guy. That seems like a problem with the fighting genre in general. Like, they seem to kind of most fighting games seem to default to the boss is just ridiculously difficult. Let's see if we can get a uh, better test your luck here. Just yeah. show some variety. A lot of classic environments. Mm -hmm. There's the, the living forest. And this is actually the story of this game, for those who care about it, is actually sort of a takeoff on Mortal Kombat 1, right? It is. It's If you saw the new Star Trek movie, I know this is going to sound weird, but it kind of follows that same exact kind of future to the past story arc. Like, uh, okay, so you guys don't have I didn't really pay attention there, but we you lost our heads. heads. So any moves that would use my head, I no longer can use. What moves use your head? Apparently not that smoke move right there. So what's the last Mortal Kombat you really played? Like uh, I actually, I actually really liked uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, um, and you know I didn't play it for that long, but I was actually a big fan of that game. I thought it was really fun, really fun party game. So I can't spit out any smoke here because I, I don't have my head. So half of my moves are like gone. Yeah. Oh, I should have just done that. Yeah, so I can't use my... Oh, no, the finishers are disabled. I wasn't paying attention. 
But if you loved Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, or even if you're looking for mm-hmm. a kind of state-of-the-art new fighter, this this one I mean, fits I, I all those bills. Yeah, I played a ton of the first three Mortal Kombats back on... I played on SNES, and I played a ton of those. And then I kind of... I didn't play too much of the PS2 ones, but then DC Universe was kind of my... where I started getting back into it or interested again. I've I've loved all of them except maybe like Mortal Kombat 4. Where characters would explode. It was like was that the, the first 3D one? one? Yeah. And uh, PS2, I think. Or PS1, PS1, maybe. But it was like bodies would explode and they'd have we gotta, like... We gotta do a replay of that. So you wanted to see Test Your Sight? Alright, Picoler. Good luck. I think it's the far left. This one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> nice job! <laughs> It's amazing. All right. The eyes of that a hawk. intense, and now I don't get fired, so yeah, bonus. The, and you have the eyes of a hawk. That too. Can we call you Hudson Hawk? I guess if, if you want. Uh, all right, so should we wrap it up? Let, let people discover some of the other stuff on their own? We should. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe show the intro to story mode or something. Sure. I'm kind of yeah, curious about just, that. Oh... It's going to continue where I uh, where I uh, oh. was on my second playthrough, but this okay. is fine. This is uh, one thing I found out if you're going for coins, if you go through story mode again, they knock the number of coins you get down significantly. Oh, okay. So you'd get 10,000 in a match. They bump it down to like 10. It's not very helpful. But here's Johnny Cage. He's uh, as big of a douche as ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, the writing in this is... is hilariously bad very b movie b game sure I, as i did a blog recently about b games this fits the bill perfectly sure um you know we're laughing all the way through this thing about how long does it take to play through story mode story mode's about six to seven hours i would that's, say that's lengthy that's and that's way depending more than I expected. on you know what level you play on and that's something you got to set way in the options you don't get to pick the the difficulty here what level you're on every match is two two rounds you got to win okay. two rounds uh, there's some tough fights where it's you against two, okay, two characters, not at the same time, but like tag. Yeah. But really nice production values on this. Obviously, they're not the best character models, and uh, Sony has changed somehow. I can't really figure it out since the last game. Might be a smaller police badge. I think that could possibly be little it. touches like that. Obviously, you know some changes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. So there's uh, Jax with arms. And this kind of tells the origin stories again for all of the yeah. characters. So you'll find out how he loses his arms. You'll find out how Cabal comes to be Cabal. Uh, you'll find out all that stuff. I like those masks. That guy's a bad guy. Is he? He's just holding a tournament. I guess. You know, you're right. Maybe I was too quick to judge old Shang Tsung. You know, when he says finish him, he's, he's you know, he's Give him a handshake, pat on the back. That's what he means. So here's a classic Sub-Zero. I hate Sonya. With a passion. I hate playing as her? Or just oh, hate her as a look character? Look at that. What is that? It's like a kick to the face. Right to the head. But I'm pretty awesome at this game, so... Yeah, it seems like you're doing all you right. Know. When you guys play it, you'll probably be a lot worse. I will, I will definitely be... I, I'm not going to speak for all of the viewers, but me personally, I will be a lot worse. Yeah, I make it look pretty nice. easy. You yeah, know, you just, just like that. Destroyed that dude. Yeah, absolutely. Just flawless. I'll let him punch me just are to feel better. On, are you still on beginner, though? No. No, this is like extreme hardcore. I don't think that's true. I don't believe you. That mode exists in my game because I unlocked it. Oh, I hate her. All right, do you get the chance to do fatalities in story mode? No. Oh, that okay. is one of the weird things, and it's almost like Mar- Mortal Kombat versus DC in that regard, the mm-hmm. way it's set up. Bounces from character to character. You spend about um, four to five fights with each character. Sure. And there's a nice sizable coin reward at the end of each uh, at the end of each one, um, and a tough fight at the end of each one for each character. But it... Like challenge mode, it teaches you, it forces you to use different characters, teaches you how to play the game. See, there. Ten. Ten. Yikes. That probably would have been at this point maybe 500 to 1,000. All right. All right, well, 
we should let people go. We won't spoil too much more of the game for them, but I'm going to check this out. No. I think a lot of uh, viewers are probably going to be interested after this as well. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, that sorry they... for ruining the game for babalities and all that fun stuff, but yeah. well, there's plenty of reason to come still in need here to and find play. animalities. Yeah, maybe next time. There is a mention of animalities. I'll say that. Okay. But uh, yeah, this this seems awesome, and uh, I'm I'm just glad that uh, the Mortal Kombat series seems to be on track once more to uh, being an awesome series. Thanks for watching.